Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Da, 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 da. I know, I know, I'm being silly. Anyway, happy Thursday, and how are you? I'm fine, apart from the aches and pains in my legs. Um, what have I been up to? You know what it is? I've had one appointment, and that was the doctor's yesterday morning at nine o'clock, which you would have seen this from my Instagram, which I'm on Instagram at one and three quarter boobs. Thank you. Um, and I went to the doctor's, and I was there at nine o'clock in the morning, so it was quite early. And it was quite a good thing. I was telling about me back, it was being about me back when I was in the, in, like the car. The bus thing I was I was telling you about. He says it's probably a muscle. I've done some muscles. Cause you can't be sure what with everything else that's going on with us. So you know what I mean. And I was telling about the fight I'm having with the council of getting rehomed into a ground floor flat. Cause the stairs are absolutely horrendous. Yeah, for me anyway. The like. It's only one flight, but they like that. It's like climbing a mountain. There you go, so we don't, don't have to climb. I climb a mountain for a candy bag of Judah. Can you remember that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Dunstan Rockets. Anyway. um, It's like... Yeah, and then I got like a private message about like some you wanted to answer questions, so I, I did that. Um, so I did that, and I went to the charity shop afterwards, and I had a really nice talk with the doctor. She gave us a letter from the council, so my sister sent that off for us. So I've got to phone them up with and make sure they the know they've got because they won't take, they won't like go out of the way to help you, you know. They won't. Anyway, like I see, I was shopping. I went up to Kinky Park afterwards with my small sis. Um, went to Home Bargains, popped into Marks's and just went back home. Because I had some, I was having some funny pain just to, like, yeah, it was like a tightness into my sides and, like, round my back. It was awful. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it was pretty, I felt awful. I felt really, oh, I just felt like, I couldn't walk, but I, mean, I get full body cramps sometimes now, you know, since I've had the cancer. Plus the treatment doesn't help, so I think could it be something to do with the treatment? But I'm seeing my consultant next week, next Thursday, uh, about it, or yeah, I'm hoping my scan results are in, because I only had them last week, both my scan results, and so I'm getting that bit of scans out, you, think, you know what I mean? Like, like oh. So, oh, hell. Anyway, I've got a little bit of a haul. <laughs> I said this the video was going to be me mainly chatting, but it's not. It's me mainly freaking haul and stuff. Because I am, like, fascinated by haul videos, and I watch them, and I watch, I like the ones with the big American families, you know, where they've got 9, 10, 11 kids, and, like, they spend a grand on just stuff. You're like, Wow. And I know they've got loads of kids and they're all homeschooled and they've all got gardens and chickens and everything. Where the fuck do you get the time? The houses are massive. They're always building something on your house. Or they're always canning. I'm saying, where do you get the time? Where? Where? I found it hard just for one kid. She's grown up now. She's got her own family. So I've like I say, I've got one. I've got one daughter, and I've got three grandsons, which are the love of my life. I've got to admit, but I, it's like, oh, couldn't imagine having ten kids. The drive is fucking nuts. You know what I mean? I saw a woman losing her rag the other day just with a with a little boy outside. <laughs> he must have been really working his cell, man. He just like, come on. It was quite funny though, what you're saying, you get nothing ever again. <laughs> I remember them days. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Oh, yes, I was going to say, like, subscribe or whatever. Hit the bell. I don't... I haven't got a clue. I don't even know how to get any subscribers, if I ever get any, which is, I don't think I will, because nobody photo watches us. You know what I mean? Lonely. You know that song of a... What was it? Um, cut, oh... Is it a uh, world police or something by uh, that would do sound for where he's like singing where the North of Korean uh, dictator are singing the song? Well, it's supposed to be, we you know. And he's going, Lonely, <laughs> which has me cracked up all the day, whatever I say it. Anyway, I'm probably get some fucking stick for that. Anyway, I'm going to get on with the haul. Anyway, like I say, I popped into the charity shop. I only bought two things. I've got this vintage glass dish, like amber glass. It's it's not. It was 50p. I'm thinking either it looked nice with a candle on or, you know, when you have it like somewhere on the side and you put your rings and earrings off and change. I thought that would be good for it because it's a nice size. I see everybody doing that, that, so I think it must be like, eh, nah. but <laughs> that, it was 50p and it's still got a sticker on. And then I just got a simple uh, Marks and Spencer's t-shirt for a pound. Uh, right, well, uh, it said it was supposed to be free, so I'm real outside and it was a pound. And I think I only bought it for like in the house, you know, like when I'm just running around and a pair of me jeggings or something. See, I shouldn't be buying any more clothes because I've got fucking loads of them. Man. Like, I've got loads of clothes in my bedroom on the chair ready to be put away. It's like bloody Clove Mountain in there. Honestly. Right, anyway, I'm going to get into the proper haul. It's not much. I, I mean, I don't go out and buy absolutely fucking tons. You know, right, maybe a tenner here, yeah, a tenner there. That's about it. So I popped in the heron yesterday. That's not for them. I've only got a few bits. I've got some slim aloe curry sweetener. Are you finding them eh, in the supermarkets how it's so hard to get sweetener now? Aldi have got, they've got canned relent to one twenty five, but Asta haven't got only the really expensive stuff, which is like three pound for a little bag like that, and I can't afford that. Fucking hell, man, it's come, I've got to save my money for taxis to the hospital. Like I say this week, it's a one week I've never had, I've had one appointment this week, and it hasn't been about cancer. That's knocked it, that, that's knocked me out, because that's the first week in two, yeah. Anyway, um, three of them, me skinny dream, because the cheaper there than in Asda, the one, the one fifty in there, uh, but the one seventy five in Asda, because they put the price up. I remember when they used to be one twenty five anyway. So, um, treats from his daughter's dog, or why she sits and whines at it, come in and say. Like, and just look at us and like, I haven't got into them. Oh, oh, God. Uh, last thing from Herons is this water is Feel Good Raspberry Hibiscus. Uh, fruitful Spark Rum Water, which is a pound. I had the rhubarb and something water. I can't remember. Was it a... Uh, can't remember some stro I might might have been strawberry root peach and some rhubarb, which was really nice. So I thought I'll get these. I think they'd be nice with some gin. Put them in the fridge and I don't really normally drink sparkling water, but I thought you know them times when you just want a fizzy drink, I thought that'd be nice and it's better than I have as as reaching for a uh, diet coke or something. You know what I mean? So and I'm all about the health these days, as I've got to be. As I don't know how long this old body of mine has got left. Right, anyway, on to home bargains. 
As I can see, it's only a small hole, so be over the fact. Um, Monster Munch with Pups. These were two, 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 these were 2.34 for the bag. I'm quite good at remembering prices, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't believe it, but I am. I'm thinking, like, I have fruit and I have yogurt in the morning. I'm thinking, just like about 10 grams of these sprinkled on top. But be about one and a quarter sins on Slim and World. Because you can have 40 grams of these for your healthy bee on Slim and World. And it's quite a big bowl full for 40 grams. But I just I prefer fruit and yogurt in the morning. So I'm thinking about 10 grams sprinkled on and then I'll sin it. And then I've still got my healthy extra bee. And plus it last longer. That That's that for me. Um, two of these jars. Uh, they're, they're quite nice, actually. Quite good quality. Like, like a bit like a Kilner jar, but they're not. You know, they're not branded. They're that kind of jar. Because I'm not going to get into trouble and see that, oh, a Kilner jar, because they're not. They're a whole bargains jar. These were one forty nine each. I'm thinking, do you have trouble with berries? They like going rotten. So what I'm thinking about doing is cutting them up and putting them in these jars and putting them in my fridge. And that be the last in the jars. Because you can do salad in a jar. Well, it lasts for salad seven days. And somebody says you can do berries as well. So I'm, I'm going to give it a try. Because I've got some more much littler jars. I'm thinking these will be perfect size for me strawberries and like, say, blueberries and raspberries all together. And I'll just... Scoop them out and put my yogurt and it's done. All I've got to do is chop them down or something, if I feel like it. So that's them. They were 149. Um, what's this? Uh, Hello Panda. I think these were about... I can't remember, about a pound or something. I've got them for the grandkids. Cousin Littlin loves these, so I've got them for him. These are big going up at my daughter's later on. Uh, crispy mallow bars 70 calories for these are tiny but I buy them for my grandson when he stays because he quite likes these he prefers these than the Kellogg's Rice Crispy Bars he says these are much chewier so he likes these ones so I thought I'd get them then uh, what's this uh, some replacement heads for me liquid toothbrush didn't even have I am bothered brushing my teeth. I've lost most of them. And I've got another ha I've got to have that one out there. Definitely that one's ready to come out. See it dent the seas like two weeks ago. It'll probably fall out. So but I, these were one ninety nine. So it's not bad, you know what I mean? For them. So but I haven't had any trouble lately. You know how I've been, like I was telling you, I had the exploding gums and I had the pus and everything coming out of my mouth. That seems to have healed up straight away as soon as he took that bit of bone out. Mm. Um, I got this. This is Selfless by Hiram. A daily barrier support. I think this was a one ninety nine, And it's the Inky List. Looks good. I thought I'd give it a bash for that price, and it looks like decent. So I thought I'll give it a go. I had quite a bit of like that stuff, and so if it's nice, I'll tell you. Is and I might go back and get some more other things. Um, you'll grip some of your shoes because I have real trouble with shoes, they're either too big or too tight because I've got wide feet as well, so that doesn't freaking help. And then bloody ones I bought from Primark, you know, make them look like fake burkies. They're so uncomfortable. They're lovely on top. No, no. But, you know, when you walk, they're so hard on the soles, so I need some soft ones because I don't like them. Like, oh. I walked up my door. I walked, ugh, I'm talking. I walked up my door, I suppose, and my legs, and, you know, my feet were so 
like sore on the sides. I'm like, I can't wear them again. Uh, another pack of Skinny Crunch, because it was a pound. And if you know it, it's cheap, more expensive than Asda. And this is raspberry white chocolate. I like this one. So there's a change. So I've got that. Um, the good old favourite sugar free polos. I suffer dry mouth as well with my medication, so I need something to suck on. That's what she said. That's what my grandson says to us all the time, you know. He comes in, he goes, I'll say something quite this. Hey, 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 That's what she said. I'm like, you do it. It's fine. He's 15, going on 35. You know what I mean? I still love him, though. Um, Polygrip Max for me dead chance. <laughs> See, I don't bother. I, no bother says, you can ask us whatever you want, and I'll tell you because I don't fucking care. And, um, more antiseptic mouthwash. I've been, I've got loads of this, but I keep stocking up every time I go because I like to keep my mouth clean now. Just what was that happening to us? Because it was awful. It was like, you know what I mean? And I'd have any kind of pain apart from denture pain. It'd be odd. Uh, anything what else? Uh, pens. For some reason, I've got a pen monster on my house. Some people keep pinching them. So, stuck up on some pens. Even though I've got loads, I can never find one. It's either that or I've got a pen monster. Um, mackerel fillets. Somebody recommended these for me because I'm only like 49p or something for the. No, was, was it 69? 49 or 69. And I do like the mackerel fillet. In the, for a daytime, I'll do it with red onion and cherry tomatoes and just have it in the bowl. Or sometimes I have it on like rye or something like that. It's quite nice. Nearly done. How many things have I got? Oh, I've got three things. Nail polish remover pads. These were 89p. I swear by these if I ever use nail polish. Because I can't be honest with the acetone in that. Even though I've got a little bottle which I keep for emergencies. But these are really good. Um, so, Lions. Fresh ground coffee. I've decided I've got a little mini coffee at here for one, like French press. And I'm going to have, and I like a really good cup of coffee, so I thought I'd give that a whirl, see if it's any good. Just for in the morning when I get up, but I really want a nice cup, so I'm going to give that a, I'm going to give that a whirl. Ah, my last thing is this it's 199 it's dead sea collection and um, lavender relaxing calming mineral bubble bath with natural dead sea minerals and lavender oil this i've had a uh, buy all the time i really like it i do i really like it because i use it in junction i haven't I, I have got some at the minute the, no like bath salt some no like epsom salt put them in that lovely relaxing bath Anyway, that's all the haul. So, yay, we're finished. And how much did that come to from? There. Got the old bargains. Came to 25.69 pound. Not a lot, but I like it. <laughs> and we're having this problem. Me and Warren are having this uh, thing with a hobby. Right? Can you, because we were walking in the whole bargain yesterday, there was Murray Mint. And can you remember the song to Murray Mint, wasn't it? Murray Mint, Murray Mint, no, too good to hurry Mint. I'm sure there's one like that, and Murray Mint makes you a little bit stronger. Something like that, the mint. So we're having the like, we're trying to find it, we can't, so. If anybody watches us and they find out, will you please message me and tell me so I can end this argument with me? Brother, I know. I know you're looking, look, bruises. That's off. 
when I had the scammy you know, the needle getting in. Well, it went in there at the end. It just saw so, it would have been there in that really sort of have a needle into there. It's excruciating. But I didn't, so I was glad. Um, I think that's it. Am I doing anything today? I'm going babysitting, obviously. Oh, trying to organise babies as for next week and things like that for me daughter. My partner is going to hop in last minute if I'm not back from the doctors on Thursday because, like I say, I'm going to uh, save me. I hope he scan results here because I'm, I'm getting that scan time. <laughs> Where you're like, oh, Hobbiton, Hobbiton. So, oh, was that. And the farm week is so busy. I don't even know if I've, I, if I've got time to make a video, I, I, I might be able to make one. The, a Friday is the only day I've got to myself. So, because I've got the photo shoot, I've got Maggie's on Tuesday. I've got all stabbing day on Wednesday. Monday, I've got to go for bloods and that. So, like you see, and that's all to do with cancer. That full week. Anyway, you know what I'm going to say? Be good, be kind, but most of all, be excellent to each other. Bye. Happy Thursday to you.